So firstly, the lace, like I said, comes in two, two um, pieces. You've got your stencil and you've got your lace for a flat and flush effect on a round cake as this, which is what I'm going to be showing you. It's optional, but it does come with a stencil. You're going to get the lace with the stencil when you buy um, the Amina stencil. This is called, this is what we call the Amina stencil. We've got the three pin hole on the side. So you grab your pin, look for where you want to start. So I'm just using a pin to secure my stencil. You can use any other method that you prefer. There are a lot of methods out there how you can secure your stencil to your cake. So the holes are very tiny, which is good because you don't want, um, you want it to sit very, flat on your cake so we've got three holes this stencil is good for double barrel cakes it's 10 inch in height and um, 15 inches in width now i have to put that on my cake on the stencil and secure it with a pin Stencil, I pin the stencil first before pinning it with the lace. If you try to do the two together, you may find it hard. So it's best you pin the stencil first. I know I'm showing you the back of the cake. Just a minute, you're going to see the front, what I'm doing. So I've pinned that there. So now I'm going to pin the other side as well. So same pin I'm using, I've used for the, for the stencil, the first time I pinned the stencil, same pin I'm going to, I'm removing it and securing the lace with it as well. So this makes it um, easier, to be honest. If you try to do it with, with the two at the same time, you might struggle a little bit. So, and there you have it. So the next thing is for us to apply a Royal Hyson. I'm using, this is a fondant cake, so I'm going to use Royal Hyson to stencil it. So I've got my Royal Hyson here. You want to make sure that it's very soft and pliable. The consistency needs to be not too pasty and not too runny. Not too pasty, not too runny. So you can get a very um, good application. I'm gonna mix, this is a green, a forest green um, color. I've mixed a bit of blue into it, navy blue, um, sorry, royal, royal blue into the icing. So you can see. So now I'm going to apply it to my, to my cake. It doesn't matter which way you go. Um, because the lace makes it more of um, error proof, will I say? But that, that does not mean you still cannot make mistake with it. You can. So just go gently. So the motion you go in is up to you. If you feel there's a gap somewhere, then you just have to, you know, be careful around that area. So your, it doesn't sip underneath the, your royal hyacinth doesn't run underneath the stencil. So 
but stenciling sometimes you get them right perfect and sometimes you know something has not worked you know so because your your fondant application you may have you may not have a smooth um, application in the first instance so the way your stencil will sit on the cake will affect the application of the stain of the um, royal heisen or whatever medium you're stenciling with so but not to worry just look for the, the part that best um, demonstrate the pattern and put that side forward I mean put that side at the front and sometimes you know the stenciling god are smiling and it's just perfect so <coughs> So sometimes as you're stenciling, because you're working with fabric, the fabric may extend. So you may want to grab the excess and repin it. This is a very large stencil. So, and I've gone for 10 by eight by 10. So the height of this cake is actually 10. The first application covers majority of the cake and you probably just need half way through depends on how large the cake is so we're still going to get to the moment of truth if i get a smooth application or not but you know what it's not the end of the world Right, so next I'm going to grab my smoother and smoothen it. And so If you're working with buttercream you have to put this in the fridge you want to make sure that your buttercream is is set is in the, you put it in the fridge you've taken it out and it's set before you start the, um, the stencil application so if you're working with ganache you want to make sure that obviously your ganache is set and your ganache is very soft the ganache you're going to use to stencil it's very soft and um, you walk fast before it starts to set because otherwise you won't um, it will pick up all your pattern will will all come out with the stencil so uh, you don't want that so now is the moment of truth let's see if it has worked or not so i'm going to okay so paint comes out. Has it worked? I hope so. So you can actually remove the two at the same time. Yes! <laughs> How beautiful is that? 10 over 10, <laughs> 10 over 10, yes, excited. <laughs> we, if, you're, if you're a cake maker, a cake decorator, you would know that we're always holding our breaths when we do, especially with a round cake, you know that doesn't go as, as you wish most of the time. So, okay, yeah, so that's the Amina stencil and that, that's how to apply it with, um, a round cake if it's a flat cake you really don't need the net unless you want the effect you can see the lacy effect the lace gives to the pattern you can see there so but it's gorgeous isn't it absolutely gorgeous all right on to the next <laughs>